she channeled Bianca Jagger's iconic 1981 Met Gala look in exquisite Oscar de la Renta replica during the annual fashion event on Monday night. And following the gala, Kaya Gerber slipped into something a little sexier, as she headed to an after-party with her boyfriend Jacob Lordi. The model, 20, and her Australian actor Beau, 24, walked hand-in-hand hand as they arrived at Justin Bieber's bash held at Weber Hall in the city. Kaya showcased her slender frame in a sizzling semi-sheer black lace gown, which left little to the imagination as she strutted into the venue. Kaya's thigh-grazing number showcased her toned and tanned pins, which were elongated with a pair of strappy black heels. The catwalk queen wore her cropped brunette locks in a loose sleek style and enhanced her pretty features with a glamorous coat of makeup. Poppy Kaya in a floral applique dress by Oscar de la Renta Oscar de la Renta Resort 22 Shop The designer here. By now Kaya Gerber stunned on the Met Gala steps in a custom black fly gown by Oscar de la Renta, inspired by Bianca Jagger's 1981 Met dress designed by Halston. Styled by Andrew Mukamal, the supermodel called on the designer again for her after-party look in a dress reminiscent of one from the Resort 22 collection. With its floral applique, intricate embellishment, sheer tool body and low back, this dress might be small in size but it's mighty in style. The floral applique detailing was woven into both Kaya's Met and post-Met looks, tying her looks together seamlessly. Unfortunately us mere mortals can't trade the Oscar de la Renta archives, but you can click, right, to shop the current collection via Netta Porter now. Alternatively, head to the carousel below to peruse similar sheer styles from the likes of Hermano Servino, I saw it first, current mood and more. Mail online may earn commission on sales from these product links. Now get one like it previous next £4,676 Hermano Servino dress at Farfetch, now reduced to £2,338. Buy now £55 I saw it first dress buy now £42 current mood dress at Dolls Kill buy now £39 love my style dress at Silk Fred buy now Kaya's boyfriend opted for a white t-shirt and black short sleeved shirt, teamed with a pair of distressed blue jeans and brown leather brogues. The kissing booth actor was every inch the gentleman as he carried his girlfriend's bag while arriving at the star studded party. Earlier in the evening, Kai made her debut at the Met Gala as she took inspiration from Bianca Jagger's iconic look at the same event in 1981. The rising star kept up with the theme, which was in America, a lexicon of fashion, in the form of nostalgia as she sported an exquisite Oscar de la Renta number. As she chatted with Kiki Palmer on Vogue's live stream, she revealed that the gown was actually referencing the Halston design which Jagger had worn 40 years previously at the event. The replica dress mimicked the Nicaraguan social and human rights advocate's strapless frock which featured an intricate floral detailing at the top. The piece of couture also clung to the model's torso in the form of a fitted bodice as it flowed out into a voluminous full-length skirt. Kaya kept her look true to the source material as she also sported an elegant curly bob much like Bianca's. Bianca was married to Mick Jagger, lead singer of the Rolling Stones, from 1971 to 1978. The Met Gala is finally back after being cancelled in 2020 amid the pandemic. This year it was pushed to September from its traditional slot on the first Sunday in May. The theme is in America, a lexicon of fashion and the event features a heavy hidden contingent of celebrity co-chairs, actor Timothy Chalamet, musician Billie Eilish, poet Amanda Gorman and tennis star Naomi Osaka. 
Honorary chairs for the evening will be designer Tom Ford, sponsor Instagram's Adam Masseri, and Vogue Zanna Winter. At just 19, Billy will make history as the youngest ever co-chair of the prestigious event. When the hosts were first announced, Vogue magazine said, Each of the Mets' four co-hosts embodies the defining factor of American style, individualism. They have each, developed a distinct visual language for their public personas, one that is informed by the legacy of iconic fashion made in the USA. The must-have accessory for all at this year's gala is a COVID-19 vaccine. Currently, all attendees at the Met Gala on September 13 must provide proof of full vaccination and will also be expected to wear masks indoors except when eating or drinking, a spokesperson for the Met said last month. This year's gala will be a more intimate affair, to be followed by a larger one on May 2, 2022. Both will launch a two-part exhibition, a survey of American fashion to be on view for almost a year. In America, a lexicon of fashion, opening set. 18, will celebrate the 75th anniversary of the museum's Costume Institute and explore a modern vocabulary of American fashion, the spokesperson added. Part 2 in America, an anthology of fashion, will open in the museum's popular American Wing period rooms on May 5, 2022, and will explore American fashion, with collaborations with film directors, by presenting narratives that relate to the complex and layered histories of those spaces. Both parts will close on Sept. 5. 2022. Queen and slim filmmaker Melina Matsukas has been commissioned to create an open ended film to project in the galleries, with content changing during the course of the exhibition. The gala is a major fundraiser, providing the Costume Institute with its primary source of funding. As always, the exhibits will be the work of star curator Andrew Bolton. Bolton has previously noted how challenging the past year had been for the fashion community. It's been incredibly inspiring to see how designers have responded to the ongoing challenges of the pandemic, how they've found new outlets to express their creativity and new ways to present their collections, he said. Bolton added that many designers had been at the vanguard of the discussion about diversity and inclusion, the social justice movements of last summer reinforced their commitment to these issues and also consolidated their leadership in advancing the conversation. In addition to Matsukas, other confirmed collaborators from the film world include cinematographer Bradford Young, whose projects have included Selma and When They See Us, production designers Nathan Crowley and Shane Valentino, and Franklin Leonard, film executive and founder of The Blacklist, a listing of top unproduced screenplays, 